Hard to Destroy Reptile. Item Number SCP-682 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meters by 5 meters by 5 meters chamber with 25 centimeters reinforced acid-resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. The containment chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstances. Personnel are forbidden to speak to SCP-682 for fear of provoking a rage state. All unauthorized personnel attempting to communicate to SCP-682 will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts at containment breach, difficulty of containment and incapacitation, and high threat of Foundation exposure, SCP-682 is to be contained in sight, redacted. The Foundation will use the best of its resources to maintain all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. Description SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent, and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. See Addendum 682-B. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of SCP-682's nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment breach, SCP-682 is to be tracked and recaptured by all available mobile task forces, and no teams with fewer than seven members are cleared to engage it. To date, blank, attempted breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. See Addendum 682-D. Addendum 682-B, portion of recorded transcript of, blank, begin log, skip to 0 hours, 21 minutes, 52 seconds, Dr. Blank. Now, why did you kill those farmers? SCP-682, no verbal communication. Dr. Blank, if you don't talk now, we will remove you from this attempt and place you back into SCP-682. Incomprehensible. Dr. Blank, pardon? Motions to move microphone closer. SCP-682. Incomprehensible. Dr. Blank. Speak up. To personnel D-085. Move the mic up closer. SCP-682. They were. Incomprehensible. Dr. Blank. To personnel D-085. The microphone has only so much gain. Move it closer to it. Personnel D-085. His throat's messed up, man. Look at it. He ain't talking. Gasps and screams. SCP-682 appearing to assault D-085's body. They were disgusting. Dr. Blank retreats from the room. End log. Addendum 682-D. Breaches with SCP-682. 1. First occurrence. Blank. Handled by Agent Blank. Agent Blank. Agent Blank. KIA. Personnel D-129. KIA. Personnel D-027. KIA. Personnel D-173. KIA. Personnel D-200, KIA. Personnel D-193, KIA. 2. Second Occurrence. Blank. Handled by Agent Blank. Agent Blank. Dr. Blank. Personnel D-124. Personnel D-137, KIA. Personnel D-201, KIA. Personnel D-202, KIA. Personnel D-203, KIA. 3. Third Occurrence. Blank. Handled by Agent Blank. Master Sergeant Blank, Agent Blank, Agent Blank, KIA, Personnel D-018, KIA, Personnel D-211, KIA, Personnel D-216. 4. Fourth Occurrence, Blank, Handled by Agent Blank, 
Staff Sergeant blank. Technical Sergeant blank. Private blank. Private blank. Lieutenant blank. Staff Sergeant blank. KIA. Colonel blank. KIA. Private blank. KIA. Private blank. KIA. Agent blank. KIA. Five. Fifth occurrence. Blank. Handled by personnel D-221. Agent blank. KIA. Agent blank. KIA. Agent blank. KIA. Personnel D-028. KIA. Personnel D-111. KIA. Personnel D-281. KIA. Personnel D-209. KIA. Six. Sixth occurrence. Blank. Handled by agent blank. Agent blank. Personnel D-291. MIA. Agent blank. KIA. Agent blank. KIA. Personnel D-299. KIA. Personnel D-277. KIA. Personnel D-278. KIA. Personnel D-279. KIA. Addendum 682-E. Termination options. Log of event 682-E18. Dr. Blank attempts to use SCP-409 on SCP-682. General Blank. General Blank. And Dr. Blank observing. 0400. Exposure. SCP-682 began to tear at the point of contact, causing massive trauma to the area. SCP-682 requests several times to know what it has been exposed to. 0800. Crystallization begins, spreading much slower than normal. 1200. SCP-682 shows signs of extreme pain and begins having seizures. 1300. Crystallization stops at 62% conversion. Crystallized area explodes, causing massive physical trauma to SCP-682. 1400. SCP-682 recovers from exposure, despite the loss of limbs and organs. SCP-682 begins regeneration, stating that it will attempt to kill and consume all staff involved in event 682-E18. SCP-682 appears to now be immune to SCP-409. Use of other SCP items to terminate SCP-682 must now first be tested on samples of SCP-682 before full-scale testing. In accordance to Dr. Blank's recommendations, see Document 27B-6, Dr. Blank and Dr. Blank have requested permission to attempt the termination of SCP-682 using SCP-689. The request is currently pending approval from the Blank. It has also been suggested by Dr. Gears to use SCP-182 in an attempt to communicate with SCP-682. SCP-182 has expressed reluctance and refuses to enter the containment chamber of SCP-682, if at all possible. 